Hello, everybody, and welcome to Just Talk number two. This time, we've got something special. We're going to be doing Aiken 2 questions. So we'll be asking the questions and seeing natural native responses to these questions. And we have a special guest today, Rudy. Hello. Hello. So she used to be a student here at English for You, and now she's working here. So can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Rudy? Okay. So I'm Rudy, and I came back to Japan two months ago. I was in California for ten months, and I went to the university, and same as Alex. <laughs> and I, yeah, I'm working here just for a few months though, but I'm having good time with teachers and other students. Good answer. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever taken Aiken? Yeah. Which one did you take? The last one is this one, two. Okay. I think, and I'm trying to take three one right now, actually. Ooh. <laughs> All right, well, maybe we can get you some practice though. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our first question that we're going to talk about. These days, more and more shops are open 24 hours. Do you think this is a good trend? I think this is a good trend because I get home at like 9.30 at the earliest. If I want to do grocery shopping on a weekday, I've got to like be on it. I have to go directly from here to like the grocery store and I have 30 minutes to do my shopping. And really it's like 15 minutes because if you're there at 10 o'clock, they're trying to get you out the door. It's nice. What do you think? Uh, I think it's good because I can buy whenever I want, you know? Yeah, but like for them, like for workers, I feel like I'm sorry. Exactly. Their face, like, yeah. <laughs> their faces look like I'm tired. <laughs> back, you know. That's true. But I think I do think a lot of the jobs actually they pay more at the nighttime hours. Also, you get a little bit of a higher rate of pay. Also, that's true. Yeah. And one of one of the jobs I worked in America was at. 24 hours and I worked night shift and I got paid super a lot of money but it was also the worst job I've ever had. Okay. So what do you think about 24 hours in a big city or like Nagano, a medium-sized city? Do you think there's a difference or is it the same? Mm -hmm. I feel like Tokyo kind of has to be 24 hours. Yeah. Right. Like everything almost in Tokyo. There's more customers. There so. are. But Nagano, I mean, when you're outside at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, how many people are really outside? Not yeah. that many, but there's some. I have a friend that lived in Suzu City in uh, Ishikawa. It's a very small place, mm -hmm. and the grocery stores closed at like eight o'clock, seven or something. Yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> That's true, really. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I feel like like Nagano. Yeah, like. Question number two: Many people go to foreign countries to study English. Do you think this is a good way to study English? Judy, what do you think about this first? <laughs> you have some experience. Yeah, I really think it's really good to study English. Because, yeah, I already told you, but I went to the US and I learned English. And it was really different from before that. Like, I was a student here and I learned English every week. But it's, it is different, you know. Like, so what's like the main difference that you saw? Ah, uh, main difference? I feel I can speak English all the time. Mm -hmm. like, to, like when I went to grocery stores, restaurants, like wherever I have to speak. Mm -hmm. And like here it's like once a week for me. <laughs> once a week sure. for yeah. me. <laughs> so yeah, it was a really good opportunity to speak English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially because in America, very few people speak Japanese. So you really do have to speak English. It's a little bit different for us. We're living in Japan, but we can use English in Japan. Mm -hmm. mm. Also, if you know, I mean, I'm sure everyone notices half of the signs now are all just English. Mm -hmm. Like road signs, everything. By yeah. English, yeah. Like wh when I when I was in Japan last time, I knew as soon as I got into like the Tokyo metro area on the trains because it would switch from Japanese only to Japanese and English. Uh, like because it in Nagoya, like it had Japanese and then it announced the train station in English. As soon as you left the Nagoya, like uh, like Aichiken, like 
just Japanese through the countryside. There was, I, I had to listen really hard to make sure I was getting off at the right stops. Once I was in the Tokyo area, English came back and I was like, ah, oh, I'm, I'm getting close. So there's a lot of English in Japan. All right, our third question today. Some people say that Japanese people should read more regular books instead of comic books. What do you think about that? I think reading is reading. I think that um, a lot of people in America, especially like older people have a problem with like the kids text too much. They never talk to each other. But like in my hometown, which is a very small area, um, there are people between the ages of like 30 and 60 who are illiterate. They can't read or write. And it's not a, like, it's not a huge amount of people, but it's not a small amount. Like it's not uncommon to find people in my area who can't read or write if they're a generation older than we are. Every, everyone I know who's around my age can read and write, and a lot of that is because of texting and the internet. Okay. Like you're, you're just constantly using it. You have to be able to read and write. Uh, you're constantly... Sure. Yeah. So you think you're that using it. Any, any practice is good practice. Any reading, is, 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 any reading, any writing is good practice. What do you think? Uh, I don't really read comics. I never read comics in America. I sometimes read manga because it's better than American comics, I think. <laughs> yeah. So if I'm talking about, I guess, like for like manga, like Japanese comics, I think, yeah, I think they're way better than American ones for sure. American ones are just boring to me to read. But comparing comic books and regular books. I don't read regular books that often either. <laughs> so uh, I really like history books. So that's pretty much the only reading I really do. Besides history and when I was a kid, Harry Potter. I'm sure everyone's read some Harry Potter, mm -hmm. yeah. But other than that, I only read because I had to. I wasn't a great student sometimes, so I'm much more media-based. I like having videos or podcasts, things like that. Yeah. So for me, first of all, I hate reading, so <laughs> yeah, I'm majoring in linguistics. <laughs> <laughs> But I hate hmm. reading, but I don't know, when I was in the US, I had to read a lot of stuff, like a lot of thick textbook or something. But for me, that was like easier actually, like compared to Japanese, for me, English is really easy. I'm not sure why. Like to, to read? Yeah, to oh, read. Okay. So like Japanese, like newspaper or something. I hate those stuff because it's so hard to read but even like comic books I don't like I don't like reading so mm -hmm. it is pretty hard question for me is there any editor. reason like specific reason why you think English is easier to read than Japanese um, maybe like I think I like English more than Japanese. Mm, so you're interested in reading the English, yeah. whether it's in a textbook mm -hmm. or yeah. newspaper or mm -hmm. something. Okay. It's a good point. If you're interested in it, it's probably easier to get through it. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I agree. At yeah. <laughs> 100%. Yeah. And it's important for practice too. If you're trying to practice something, find something interesting that you can practice. If you're studying a textbook every day, it's like, uh, and it doesn't go into your head because you're not having fun. But if you do something fun, interesting, read a book, watch a movie, that's good, fun, interesting practice. Makes it easier to continue. Don't be like all of us. Read. <laughs> I do read. Hey. That's right. All of us. <laughs> all four of us. We all agreed on this subject. <laughs> I'm a huge nerd. <laughs> all right, everybody. That was our Just Talk episode two. Hope to see you at number three. See you next time. See you next time. See you.